guys, today is uh, Tuesday, July 26th, and you may have noticed I am without glasses again. Um, I had my glasses for a couple of days, but uh, my prescription was wrong in one eye, so I took them back today after work. So um, I'm picking them up tomorrow, so next week I will show you my new glasses. Um, another new thing, yay new T-Fury. Um, okay, so I'll just jump right into it because I have a lot to show, so I'm going to hurry up. Um, last week I, I am caught up on Project of Doom, yay, um, except tomorrow I'll be behind again, unless I actually do something. Uh, first thing is my extra credit block. Um, of course I'm using the typical Harry Potter house colors on it and I just stitched this on my embroidery machine and I was going to put my username but I forgot I don't know <laughs> I put in my name and where I live and the country and I was going to put my username but somehow I just spaced it completely so oh well it's pretty easy to figure out my username or whatever from my name um, and I do apologize I have a cold so if I sound funny I yeah, I probably sound funny. I sound funny in my head. Um, so I have my Hedwig block. I'm not sure if I showed Hedwig last week, but there's my Hedwig block on uh, Gryffindor colors, of course. And then here is another blo uh, block of books. Yeah, block of books. I, that sounded weird in my head. Um, I bought this fabric because I was very excited about it, and I have like a cool sort of title plan for it. So that's fun. Um, here is my Hogwarts crest on top of a couple of books. And then this is actually one of my favorites, the one with the candle, because this fabric right here is an awesome pink, and it looks like it's cross-stitched. It has sort of a cross-stitched look, and I put it right next to a Slytherin block. That fabric looks wrinkled. That's weird. Um, but there's that block. I love this block so much. Um, and hey, fun thing, because a lot of my blocks always do this one. This fabric came from Open Gen, and I think, I would say that um, I, this fabric came from Open Gen right here, this little tiny one. Um, she sent me a bag of scraps like ages ago, and I am, have used it in like a, probably at least 50% of my blocks I've used some of her um, fabric. Okay, and then the next one is my sorting hat with books. There's that one. Okay, and then um, I was kind of ridiculous and so last weekend and I stayed up all night and um, was working on quilt blocks. Well I stayed up all night and as it got later and later in the night my fabric choices got more and more erratic so um, the next two blocks are kind of like ugh, questionable taste but here is my one with the quill and I've actually been waiting to use this fabric for a while I just couldn't decide on what so I'm glad I picked something for it and then this is just an explosion of hold on Okay, I'm back. Um, so, I here is my crazy, crazy block. I know. Um, it's got a lot going on in it. Uh, there's a pattern here, a pattern here, a big pattern there, a pattern there, pattern there, pattern, oops, pattern there, and crazy. Just, this is just my crazy all-around block, because this is crazy. Um, and then I have my pattern with the open book and the bookmark and then another this one is another really crazy looking block this one and finally the teacup block so I yes I am officially caught up on all of those and I still have more trust me more is coming I got stuff done this weekend okay. so my potion bottle quilt I finally sat down I'm like okay I'm gonna sew these things together so I have um, my potion bottle quilt is, the quilt top is all together. I'm just now working on removing the fabric, or the fabric, no I'm not going to remove the fabric. I'm working on removing the paper. So far I've removed paper on one block, um, although I've only spent a couple minutes doing it. But hopefully, um, ugh, it's already 8.30 tonight, gack, um, maybe I might stay up late and you know, spread this out and get to working on it a little bit more. And then I have, um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I did the um, 10 inch blocks and then I did um, all of the 5 inch blocks and the 5 inch blocks are what the patterns are for, the 4 or 5 inch blocks, but I wanted to do it in a full size too. So I also put together the quilt top in the small size. 
And so here's the back of it. It's kind of cool. And because I'm not going to be able to fit it in here, but it is a shelf of her, or a shelf of potions. So that is this right here. And then um, as soon as I take the paper off, it's going to be going in the mail to Hermione Jean. And because she was so awesome to agree to quilt it, um, she actually agreed to quilt it about two years ago when I first asked her. And she said yes again that she would quilt it, so that's cool. And I want to get these out in the mail, hopefully no later than Monday, uh, next Monday I hope, so I can get it done. Um, one of the biggest reasons is that I'm trying to get a lot of um, projects like UFOs done. Well, UFO, I'm probably only going to get that done uh, before roller derby starts because I understand that roller derby is going to eat up my life and my free time. Um, I don't know where I stand on being able to do Talk To Me Tuesdays once that starts up. I'm going to try. Um, as it is right now, I'm kind of worried about time because well, I know I'm not going to be crafting for a while until I get a you know into the rhythm of everything. Um, because I'm going to be um, going to roller derby practice at least twice a week. I'm not sure what the recruitment practice times and days are. Um, and then I'm also uh, starting on the 22nd, I think, on the 22nd of August. Um, that's when classes start up. And I do have a couple of classes that I am taking. So I'm going to be, of course, working full time, um, doing roller derby, and going to practice several times a week, and then, of course, being consumed by the social aspects of that. And then, um, going to be doing classes so yeah um, if I find time to craft I will and hopefully I will find and make time <sighs> but as it stands right now it's like wow so you know I won't know what it's like until oh my gosh I'm sorry I need to quit talking okay I'll see you guys next week bye In a In a desert, you stand me a silhouette, emotion, I'm the dog.